again. Thankfully, I've had no nightmares or visions for almost three weeks now. I was beginning to feel like I was losing my mind. Even the laudanum was beginning to have no effect. Now, shall I perform my regular tarot reading for you, William? Ah, Emma, my dear. You know I never believe in all your silly hocus pocus and mysticism. But as usual, I cannot resist your kind offer. Go ahead. Never underestimate the powers of the spirits, William. There are supernatural forces at work in this world that even we clairvoyants can't begin to comprehend. Now, where did I put my tarot deck? A welcome back, a loyal subject of funk to this Let's Funking player, Jack the Ripper, and things are really starting to heat up right now. For example, that fellow there sitting with the brandy is um, a William Gull, one of the top Jack the Ripper suspects. We'll, uh, we'll have more of that in a minute, right after I have joined Sir William in a drink of Guinness Original. We'll pour it. I do love a bit of Guinness, especially original. The head is massive on it though. Anyway, let's um while that's a settling and we can do stuff, we might as well have a mosey about some of this um some of what's going on here. So we'll we'll go for Ooh with the tarot cards. Stop leaving my tarot decks around. And um, now, let's keep looking for some more clues. What have we got there? Hints! To just click on Gull. I need my tarot cards to read his future. Oh, there we go. Easy done! Oh, shit. Um, sort the tarot cards to match those in the book. So, put that on there. I see how this works. Quickly just make them look like the same as they are in the book. A very simple or one might say um, am I doing this correctly? Um, where's the devil go? He goes there. That's all done. A very nice, quick, sorted out in a few seconds and I'll put the last of that Guinness right this second. Oh no! No! Not those awful visions again! And the same horrid figure as before. What does it what all mean? What does it all mean? You seem to pass out for a moment, my dear. Are you okay? You really must lay off that laudanum stuff. William Gull. But I haven't touched it for weeks. Not since the nightmare stopped, in fact. Anyway, William, gotta head home now. See you next time. See you later, William. Well, but don't forget your umbrella, my dear. It's pouring outside. Right, now more about William Gull. He's uh, a bit of a nutter. Let's take that newspaper. Um, today's newspaper. Um, in, the, in all the films, the Michael Caine version, the... actually not the Michael Caine version, he was... Re I suppose he was just renamed in the Michael Caine version. But he is the main enemy in the Michael Caine version. He is Jack the Ripper. And in From Hell Star and Johnny Depp, he is also Jack the Ripper. In every film adaptation I've seen, he's been Jack the Ripper. Just simply because it's the most interesting storyline. Which is, uh, obviously he's a surgeon. And they like to romance the story, don't they? Let's, uh, oh get that umbrella. We don't want to leave that, do we? like to romance the story, don't they? And, um... Beef it up a bit. Is that back into Sir William Gull's room, I? Um, so the, the story goes that Alfred, uh, Prince Alfred, had an illegitimate son to a prostitute in Whitechapel. I'd better hurry to the railway station now to catch my train home. No problem. And as Sir William Gull was the Queen's top physician, they thought that he was the man to dispatch 
the prostitutes that knew about this illegitimate child. It's pretty, it's, it's a piss poor theory, it's got so many holes in it. The biggest one being that William Gull uh, had two strokes before he, um, before the Jack the Ripper murders started. So he was, and he was over 70, he was in no shape to do it, but I have a funny feeling that yet again he's going to be the main bad guy in this Jack the Ripper game. So hey, let's go home. And I presume that's where we've come from, so we won't... Uh. Uh, pad on, we will not go back in to see um, Sir William Gull, we'll just advance home. I was looking for some clues and hints and that We could go there, we could... Should we hit the old hints button? Maybe there's... No, there's nothing in here. We'll just continue home then. I presume that's the right way. Certainly is. We're going to jump on the old a train. Let's examine it. You need a ticket to board, says he. Ticket office. This is... Cl Are you talk... <laughs> Ticket seller is now on his break. He said, "If I get him at today's a newspaper, oh, I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> now he's opened. How am I going to pay for the ticket now? Oh, seems I've lost my purse. Now that is a uh, not a good thing at all. So it either means that we have to find ourselves some sort of moolah. Give me some money and nobbed." Which I'm looking to raid some of these barrels, but it doesn't seem that there's anything here. So perhaps it's still in a, a William Gull's room. Oh, is it hell? Hey, our first puzzle of the night. Right then, let's get going. After a swig of Guinness. Um, right, so we need a fork, a crown, a hairpin, a Compass. There's the uh, hairbrush. And what else do we need here? Do we need a, a pair of scissors? We certainly do not. We need a Queen Victoria doll, which is right there, hidden at the back. Teasing us money. Oh, I thought that would have come in that purse, but it has not. There's the compass. Um, so keep your eyes peeled, guys, for some moolah. Which may be sitting about. We don't need a spoon. We need a, a penny whistle. There's the money. Thanks for the money. Now we might be able to afford. There's the crown. We might be able to now afford ourselves a ticket of the train variety. Do we need a fork? We certainly do need a fork. We need a. Oh, we've got a doll. We need Queen Victoria. So we're looking for something. That looks like Queen Victoria. We don't need a. We need a match. So there's one lonesome match hanging about somewhere. We need a spring a balance. Having a clue what one of those would be, or what one of those would look like. But we shall. That is the fishing reel got. And we need a match. Where's this match lying? It's got to be lying somewhere. We need the spring balance. Queen Victoria, thank you very much. Um, a penny whistle. There's the there's the, the the spring balance. Well done, well done, King of Funk. And that is the penny whistle. That was well hidden. And now this is a true game of Where's Wally? Because we're trying to find a match, which is literally like finding a needle in a haystack. About the same size as well. Just a little bit fatter. So where's this uh, match, guys? Keep a thou eyes so peeled, it would peel an orange. Not that that makes much sense. It's one of those ones, isn't it? That. Are... Oh, that's the uh, the hairpin. It always shows you the easiest one. So the match must be a real stinker to find. Now, why are we looking in the box? Because I have a funny feeling it will not be in the box. It'll be most likely chilling out somewhere. The match. Hidden under a pair of gloves. Don't know why we need to keep the match, but hey. 
Anyway, let's buy that ticket. Here you go, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Now we can jump on the old uh, uh, steam train. Here you go, my good man. Whatever is happening to me? I'm home, but everything looks wrong. My head is starting to spin. I must get inside. I need my medicine. You lie down, woman. She needs to be put in bedlam. That's all I can say. Clairvoyants are full of crap. My head is spinning again. Is that something painted on my door? Can't quite work out what it is. Looks like a snake to me, my woman. With a sword through the middle. Where have I seen that symbol before? Um, click to rotate the sections. Uh, uh, uh. Get round. Boom! Oh. Got this last central piece to rotate. There we go. Thank you very much. Mm. Guinness. Ah, oh, that's better. My vision's cleared. The sign on the door. I'm sure I've seen it before. A rare astrological symbol. Should be able to find it in one of my books. Astrology. Bloody hell. You could have guessed it, couldn't you? Let's get in the old bookshelf then. Just need to sort them out first. The book is on these but Let's do it. It's a puzzle. A numero uno puzzle. Shit, this is going to be quite, um... Interesting. Ugh. Oh, pardon. Alright, okay, I see, I see, I see. Um, where's number two? Where's number three? And then we'll go four, five. That's uh, where, where? No, five. I put ten there. Sorry about that, guys. Don't mistake me for a fool. Um, yes, yes, yes. Now that is looking good. How on earth? Am I meant to do this in time? Oh, was it just one shelf I had to do? That's fantastic. I thought I had to do <laughs> all the shelves then. Officius is a large constellation located around the celestial equator. Its name is from the Greek for serpent bearer. And it is commonly represented as a man grasping the snake that is represented by constellation serpents. Okay, this is all a well and good. Imhotep was known to use the uh, in, uh, to the ancient Greeks. However, the attributes are the same under either name. Imhotep is an interesting character. He was an oh, yes. the thirteenth sign of the zodiac, the ancient lost sign. He was not only a um. Was used was centuries ago. I'll wait until she gets a bit mean? over. So bad, I can't think straight. It's about time you got some sleep. A stronger dose of laudanum if I'm to get any sleep tonight. You do it, woman. Um, Immortep's an interesting character. You may remember him from the Mummy, Brendan Fraser version. And um, in real life, he was a priest. Yeah, he was also an engineer, if I remember rightly. Uh, designing some of the early pyramids. He built one for himself, if I remember rightly. I'm not sure if he was ever buried in it though. But let's uh, let's get up to bodies. Oh, here we go. I've never seen the lot. Oh, right. So we need if we want to make some lords and then we need some cinnamon, some cloves, and some papaver somniferum. Obviously Latin. Ooh. I sure he's always known to uh be good for sleeping. Let's uh, get the hell back. Make sure that everything in here is cleared because you know what it's like this game for hints and tips and your what not. The funktastic upstairs. Here we go. I'd say this is where we're going to find some... Ooh! 
Uh, an oil burner. I could probably use this to heat liquid with. Um, my bottle of laudanum is empty. I need to find the ingredients. You certainly do, woman. So, I presume the ingredients are to the right in this spot, like usual. And it certainly is. We've got a brand new puzzle right here. So, let's uh, let's go for it. Let's uh, get going, one might say. Uh, what do we need? We don't need a, a copper, I mean a, a coin, a letter open, uh, a pen. We need a letter opener, which could be that, certainly is. Um, a pair of scissors hidden there under all the shrapnel. Rile of opium, you dirty woman. Just the sort of thing I like. We don't need any garlic, we need some garnet. Uh, there's an Egyptian thing there. Quite interesting considering we were just uh, talking about him or tap. Um, is that the garnet? Yes, certainly is. We need a, a glass a beaker to store our crap in. Isn't that there, is it? We need a, a, a glass beaker, a bottle opener, traditional bottle opener. Seen plenty of those about in modern times, not just the olden times. And now we need a, a cork and a glass a beaker. Glass beaker obtained. And now just a, the cork. Which we know what a cork looks like. And it's, <laughs> it's just staring me in the face the whole time. <sighs> this is quite interesting. Mixing up some drugs. Right. Do we put the sherry in? We certainly do not. Do we put the glass beaker anywhere? Right. Oil burner. I could probably use this to heat liquid with. Right, so we've got a match. We have a beaker. You see, I would have... thought that we might have mixed some of these bad boys together <laughs> let's go back make sure that we have absolutely anything ah! uh, the key should be in the living room absolutely fan dabby dozy See, there's always something, isn't there, that we uh, that we miss. I don't see any key around here either. And murder in Whitechapel, Martha Tabram slain. Back up here, usual skull. Skull appears to be jammed. Use the old let letting opener on the skull. I mean, they're quite inventive these little uh, quests, but at the same time. They also, it feels like they haven't got enough to go on with this Jack the Ripper crack. And, um, Skull and Crossbones. And did, did they're just filling it in with um, other stuff. We need a pestle. Do we need a mortar as well? We don't. I don't know why, we might have a mortar somewhere else. We need a second letter. We've got a leather wallet. We need a bracelet, which is right up there. A telescope, which is right... Oop! There. I almost got all of them there, just by chance. Um, we need a stand to put all the gear on. And we need some uh, cinnamon. So where's this stand at? And where, there's a truncheon. Why have you got a truncheon, a lady? Ooh! Thank you for that uh, cinnamon. Now we just need the stand. That's an interesting new variety to these levels. Now we have to open stuff within these little uh, puzzles. So we just need the uh, the stand, which I have absolutely no idea where the funk king hell is at. And there's more Egyptian stuff. Hints, of course. 
Oh, right. So it was under all that junk. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. See if we can find those blasted cloves. Need something to pry that bad boy open. Handful of dried cloves. Just what we were looking for. Now it's about time we got mit cooking some drugs. This woman's going up in my estimation. Do we need sherry? We certainly don't. Do we need a... Uh, we don't. Let's uh, grind that bad boy up and take the ground components. Alright, oh, okay, so there is a spot. There's a spot ready. Do we put the glass beaker on top? We certainly do not. Do we put the sherry on? We certainly do not. Do we just light it with a match and then put the beaker on? Beaker of sherry. Ew. There we go. And now I'm assuming we stick the old spices in and the das cap it opium. Whew, yes. Oh, wait on. Filled the bad boy up. Extremely strong laudanum. Hopefully this will knock me out for the night. Perfect. That's a new batch of laudanum made. Hopefully I can get a good night's sleep now without being plagued by those horrific nightmares. Don't you worry about it, babe. Am I dreaming again? Everything's blurry. Just can't focus on anything. Right, ooh. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, obviously we're trying to move this stuff oh dear put that one there, put that one there it's very hard to find out in what area some of this stuff has to go stick that one above there oh there we go, absolutely done very fast, very clean, sorted out first. I'll tell you my top suspect oh, is. That's better. But why am I being plagued by I've these listen to this wench. Same as before. Glowing footprints which must lead to the victim. Look. There seems to be kind of a magic circle painted on the gates. I'll tell you my top suspect is Isimbad Kingdom of Brunel. Why? He's got a top hat. And he likes trains. <sighs> Not that that has anything to do with it. Uh, astrological symbols have appeared over the gates. The 13th sign again. That symbol again. The 13th sign of the zodiac. At the centre of some sort of astrological design. And around the symbols, the number 13 appears over and over again. Right then, find uh, number 13 in the scene. Okay, there's a 13. There's a 13. There's a thir That's a 13 as well. That's a 13. That's a thir They're all 13. It's just asking us to click them all. There we go. That was that was the easiest puzzle yet. By far. Right, so we are now into a Brown's stables, if you don't mind. Oh lord, another poor victim. Why, oh why am I being plagued with these dreams? You are gonna make us go to the police again, lady. There seems to be a barrier over the gates. Am I now trapped, I wonder? First of all, let's go back. I presume this is... I'm presuming this is uh, Paulie Nichols because... I don't know how many... I don't know how many uh, Jack the Ripper killings that this uh, game is attributing to him. 
Look at that, we're off to an absolute phenomenal start. Um, ooh, a medal. Uh, what else do we need? Here, a cannon, an opium pipe. Where's that at? There's nothing better than a good pipe of the old opiates. Oh, there's another uh, magic symbol. We've got all of the magic symbols now. A wrench, if you don't mind. Oh, opium pipe. Well, that was a wrench there behind it. But it was not, alas, meant to be. Um, we need a doll's head, which is right there. We need a statue, which is right there. We're going absolute through this like a dose of salts. Um, we need a, a coin, a bolt, a crown, and a cog and a wrench. Um, there's the bolt. We need a cog and a wrench. Cog, if you don't mind. Coin, hidden right under there. I'm getting good at this. Um, and we need the crown and the wrench. The problem with the crown one is it makes you think, what crown are they actually looking for? A crown as in a coin. Or a crown as in something that you bang on thou head. Now I'm presuming it's the latter because it's already made us search for a coin. But we're still coming no closer to finding this a wretched wrench. So we'll hit the old hints button. There's the wrench. Knew it gives the easiest one first. Oh, on the side of the box. Typical. Atypical. Mmm, it's a magical symbol. Let's um, use these magical symbols to place uh, right round uh, this body because that's the, the classic formula it seems in these um, puzzles. Probably not, unless that would be the end of a good story. I know what she needs to take her mind off things. A bit of rumpy pumpy. Wouldn't go amiss anytime soon. 